they're reaching the end of this illusionary reality or there's just a situation in which this reality is about to come to an end. However, the strongest thing that I'm feeling right now, Gemini, is that this person or you have started a circumstance within their cycle in which it's triggered the end of this illusion. So there could be an energy here in which somebody is really fighting very hard to keep up this appearance because maybe subconsciously or even consciously they know like it's about to be blown up. Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up, guys? So welcome to your general energy reading for April of 2021. Yes, please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a general energy reading. So we could be talking about anything here, anywhere, anything from love, to family and friends, to connections, to um, business and finance, whatever me whatever message needs to come through in this reading right now and for whomever it's for, then that's what we're going to talk about. So also with that in mind, keep in mind that the roles could be reversed, right? We could be talking to a cross watcher here. So if the story that I'm telling does not fit in your life the way that I'm narrating it, but it would if you were to switch the positions or switch the, di uh, the, 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 yeah, switch the positions or whatever, then take it that way. Yes, please take what resonates. Do not try to fit anything into your life that does not fit naturally, yes? So if you are interested in a private reading with me, I am available for that. All the information is in the description box below. Also, if you're vibing with me as a reader, I highly recommend that you check me out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. We have a really awesome community over there. Um, it's like a bunch of friends getting together and just kind of hanging out, which is cool. Um, keep in mind that daily readings are no longer on Patreon. As of April 1st, they have moved back to YouTube in the form of, of uh, morning coffee. So, um, that's, there's that, but there's still a bunch of extra great stuff over there, including monthly love readings for each of the zodiac signs. So if you're interested in that, I highly recommend that you go check out, check me out over there. So for this month, we will be using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot as our as our tarot deck, and then for oracle guidance, since we're in the spring season, um, I felt the unicorns calling to me for guidance. So we're going to be using the oracle of the unicorns to get us some closing oracle guidance today, yeah? All right, Gemini, let's get into your um, your storyline, into your pre-shuffle. Um, I have some cards here that normally wouldn't be bad. However, um, I'm getting a really strange feeling from it. The first card that I wanna talk about here is the Nine of Cups, which is at the bottom of the deck. Sorry, it's, it's early in the day and there's all kinds of sunlight coming through, but it's the Nine of Cups here. And the first thing that I got from that Nine of Cups energy is a pretty smug energy, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. As soon as I saw this card, I was like, ooh, someone is really content, um, is really set in their ways. Um, it feels like somebody's being standoffish. It really feels like somebody's being quite stubborn and immature here. I don't know if it's you, Gemini, or maybe somebody that you're dealing with. This does have... Um, either interpersonal relationships or maybe a romantic relationship vibe. Um, but also, it doesn't have to be romantic. This could be friends. Um, for some, I'm feeling like this might be a roommate situation. Maybe like a, if you're in college, you're in like a dorm setting um, or not. You could just be with roommates. This also could be family. Um, quite frankly, you guys, this really could be anything. But the main thing that I'm getting here is someone is really content and stuck in their ways. Um, and it, there's a lot of confusion, potentially, maybe a lot of smoke and mirrors. It, it really kind of feels like somebody here is putting up an illusion or is maybe even stirring the pot to a certain extent to keep things unclear. You do have the Seven of Cups here. And with the Seven of Cups, you have the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Cups, all right? So there's that interpersonal relationship vibe. Whether this is romantic for you or not, it doesn't matter. The Nine of Pentacles here is saying to me that someone is still giving, it's still giving me this energy of someone being very 
set and stuck in their ways. Someone is um, content with the way things are right now. And main, the main reason why someone is content with the way things are is because things are unclear. And it feels like that's exactly, please excuse, please excuse the nails. But it feels like that's exactly what somebody wants. Somebody wants confusion. Somebody doesn't want things to be clear. I'm not sure why. I mean, I could sit here and say it's most likely because, you know, they're not doing something right or they're acting shady or something like that, but I'm not gonna make that assumption. It just feels like someone is very just content to be where, they're, where they are in whatever situation they're in. But then even when I feel into this here, it doesn't give me any energies of like, you guys are breaking up or the or, or something like that, or the, the, the bond or the friendship or the connection is like done or something. I, I'm just as confused as someone else is, to be quite honest. And I, again, I feel like that's exactly what somebody wants here. Okay. Um, what I just got now was it feels like on a certain level for a certain narrative in this energy, it feels like someone may be dealing with multiple partners, multiple individuals. And okay, so maybe this is what's going on here, at least for a select number of you. Um, you are in a relationship with or in some sort of maybe a friendship or some sort of bond with someone that doesn't want people to know who they truly are or maybe what they really stand for. And that could very well be because they don't know themselves. Um, or maybe they do and it's just something that they're not trying to let out there. They're not trying to speak about. They're not trying to be out in the open. It feels like and this doesn't have to be bad, you guys. It really doesn't. It could just be that somebody has finally gotten to the point where they're really good and content and happy with themselves. And they're not trying to let anybody in on the rest of the situation, but they're still going to be out here, you know, vibing with people, connecting with people. And now when I say it that way, that doesn't feel too good. That's, that's dishonest. That's, um, I just heard collective trickery. All right, Gemini, I don't really know what's going on here, but we're going to reset and we're going to get into the rest of this, what just came out here. The Nine of Swords in reverse. That could be one of two things. Now we have the Six of Wands in reverse. Okay, well, the Nine of Swords in reverse. Did I say Nine of Wands? I meant to say Nine of Swords whatever. The nine of swords in reverse could either be that someone's not freaking out or someone's not upset or scared of anything any longer, or it could be that someone is so deeply entrenched in a sense of fear that they would much rather keep up this smoke and mirrors to diverge from the truth of the situation or to like deflect or, or, um, yeah, deflect from the truth of the situation because now we have the Six of Wands in reverse. Six of Wands could is an energy of, you know, taking a victory lap, feeling victorious, having accomplished something, uh, 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 recognition, you know, from other people and whatnot. Six of Wands in reverse can represent someone keeping up appearance. Ten of Swords, though which now, as I was about to put that back in, it did kind of flip up right. So it, uh, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure, Gemini. We're gonna, <laughs> let me just reset and let's just get into the official, the rest of the reading here and see what else we have for you, yeah? All right. All right, Gemini, here we go. This really, okay, this just hit me. This really could be a friend of yours. Take it as it resonates. If the roles are reversed, then let them be reversed. Yeah, here we go. High spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Geminis at this time. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representations of the general energies for Gemini for the month of April 
of 2021. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Gemini. Um, five shuffles here. One. But as I was just connecting to your energy, I heard some conflicting things. On one hand, I heard Gemini energy is soft, serene. But then at the other hand, I hear it's insecure. And now I've lost the rest of it. This is two. Hidden, hidden elements. I'm hearing hidden elements. This is three. Someone is creating an illusion or has created an illusion. I mean, life is an illusion. This existence is an illusion. But someone has created, I guess, a persona or a mask or a, a projection of what they want things to be. And this is three. And they're not really going to allow anyone to penetrate that for them. This is weird. That's weird. This is four. And this does kind of feel like um, this is the illusion that they've created for their lives. This is five. And they're not really trying to let go of that. All right, let's cut the deck here. Boop. Yeah, overall energy. Ooh, okay, but here, look, here's the Ten of Swords. Um, there might be a situation, okay, so this might be a situation, Gemini, in which if this is you or, well, whatever, whomever this is for, whomever I'm speaking of here, they're reaching the end of this illusionary reality. Again, reality is an illusion. Reality is a projection. This is basically one big dream, okay? Um, okay, and what I just heard was, what I just heard was either they have, or this person has recreated a situation in which their reality is now, or the, the projection of their reality is now facing the end, or there's just a situation in which this reality is about to come to an end. However, the strongest thing that I'm feeling right now, Gemini, is that this person or you have basically started a cycle over or or started a circumstance within their cycle in which it's triggered the end of this illusion or they're about to face the end of this solution uh, this this illusion so there could be an energy here in which somebody is really fighting very hard to keep up this appearance because maybe subconsciously or even consciously they know that they're about to like it's about to be blown up but it's necessary Ten of Swords. Underneath the Ten of Swords is the Page of Pentacles. Underneath the Page of Pentacles, there's the Nine of Pentacles again. And then there's the Moon. There's the illusion right there. I feel like someone is fighting very hard to keep up this illusion. The Nine of Pentacles is giving me that energy. But also, when I look at the Nine of Pentacles, I think, okay, you're about to go from the Nine to the Ten. And the Ten would be the Ten of Pentacles being the end of a certain life circumstance or maybe a life lesson or maybe something that has been long and drawn out. I'm hearing overdue. The Page of Pentacles is about to, is that energy of reaching the next level. reaching another vibration, uh, starting a new reality, needing to find your footing, even though you have, get your, you're bringing with you all the knowledge that you've experienced from the past, so it's not like you're really starting over. I can't really tell right now, Gemini, if this is a good or a bad thing. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be a bad thing. 
because maybe this is just a situation in which um, you're just about to evolve. This is weird, but that's okay. We're gonna keep going. I mean, it doesn't really, I don't have to understand what's going on here. This is more for you guys. So as long as it's making sense for you, that's all I care about, okay? <laughs> all right, first half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies, Gemini, you have the fool. All right, all right, yeah. So somebody's about to embark on a brand new cycle. Again, though, I can't tell, I can't tell if this really is a good or a bad thing because what I'm feeling here is someone is really nervous about it, maybe even really upset about it. But that's really just because things are about to change for them and they're going to have to start a new reality or settle into a new lifestyle or a new life cycle. But then with the Ten of Swords here, ultimately that coming to a close is a good thing because it feels like there was some sort of destructive element to this. Now, maybe the destructive element that I'm picking up on is the refusal to embark on a new, on a new journey or go in a different direction, start something new. And maybe that's how this has gotten, this has become destructive because it's like, okay, yeah, that was cute for a little bit, but now it's like, you've got to change, you've got to grow, you've got to evolve at some point. You can't stay, you can't really stay in this energy forever. This page of pentacles energy, which is in some, in this, in this case, yes, I understand that originally I said the page of pentacles was that, that level up, that next start. But I also kind of feel like somebody is trying to stay in an energy here where they don't have to grow up or they don't have to mature because they don't have to have too many responsibilities moving forward. And that could be what the destructive element of this was or has been because it's like, okay, at some point you're gonna have to evolve, you're gonna have to grow. I mean, that's, that's the journey of the soul. The soul did not come into existence to be stagnant. The soul came to existence in order to learn and to expand and to evolve and to ascend, okay? So at some point you're gonna have to do that. The fool is coupled with, yeah, oh, okay, the six of swords. And okay, so the element that I'm getting from this is it really does feel like somebody is facing the element of growing up in a certain way. The Six of Swords energy is giving me feelings of, um, of, of being involved in situations that were petty, that were lower in vibration, that... Um, see, and now as I'm talking through that, I just heard seek truth and clarity. So, so the reason why this cycle may be coming to an end here is because, potentially, is because someone is facing the reality of you, you, they can't stay in this any longer. So someone may actually be waking up to the destructive elements around them or maybe like the, 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 the lower in vibration or maybe immature elements to the, and the energetic vibration that they find themselves in. And there's a part of them that's kind of becoming aware of all of this. And once you become aware of something, you can't, you can't unsee it. So you can either stay in it or you can do something about it. And I really feel like someone is trying their hardest not to change. Or at least they have been. But at this point now, it's kind of like, okay, well, I'm gonna have to do something about this, right? Mm. Okay. I will say though, ultimately this is a good thing. Change is a good thing. Growth is a good thing, always, no matter what it looks like and how it turns out, you know what I mean? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini. You, you have justice. Ultimately, this is the right thing to do because someone is facing needing to have the scales balanced. And I think part of this, uh, 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 shift in awareness is recognizing how things are unbalanced. And I, even though some, it feels like someone is really putting up, putting up these, this mask and, and this, this smoke and mirrors and trying to keep things as they were, ultimately it's getting to the point where they're starting to realize that they really just can't. Justice is coupled with the Knight of Wands. 
So now I'm feeling like there's some sort of internal conflict. The Knight of Wands doesn't represent internal conflict. The Five of Wands does. But the Knight of Wands does represent activation and drive and wanting to move forward, moving forward very quickly, something like that, right? And even though somebody may be really content in this energy here, may feel really stable and solid in this energy here, ultimately there's a part of them that actually is growing up. Nine of Pentacles, that's actually become a, becoming a sovereign being that's probably starting to think for themselves and to starting to see things in a new light and that's creating a drive to move forward. So because of that drive to move forward, coupled with this energy of feeling very just content and in a comfort zone type of energy, that's where the friction happens. And that's where someone really feels like they may be at odds with themselves about what, what, what they should do, whether or not to move forward. You can't fight your soul on this one, is what I just heard. Your challenge, Gemini. Mmm, the Eight of Swords. And yet, what I just heard was the challenge here is that someone is happy to be this way. This is a big shift. But then I want to say, are you really happy to be this way? I mean, you're confined. So maybe it's not necessarily that you're ha not necessarily you're happy. Maybe it's just that this again, this is a comfort zone. Eight of Swords is coupled with mm, the Lovers. Quite distinctly, what I'm feeling with the Lovers here is a choice of vice or virtue. You can either stay in this energy, you can either stay in this Eight of Swords, in this confinement, or you can allow yourself to be free. Basically, you can free your soul from this confinement. From this you could call it a mental prison but it feels more of a physical and energetic prison than just mental ultimately though the message here is that you can break yourself free from this if you choose to and that's what someone is dealing with right now the choice as to whether or not to free themselves also the thing other thing that i'm getting from the nine of pentacles here being at the uh, in the overall energy for you gemini is maybe someone has built up a following or um, has built up some sort of physical representation of this being who they are. I'm feeling energies of this is who I've always, this is who I've always been. People know me like this. I know myself like this. If I release this, if I let go of this, who am I anymore? That's a good question. And you know what I just heard, Gemini? Self-discovery is the key to existence. It's the whole point. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Gemini. You, ooh, the devil. So, first of all, this is you, the lovers. The lovers represent Gemini energy. And this is you in confinement, right? This is your challenge, Eight of Swords and the lovers. When we get to the closing message here, this is the truth of your reality. This is you not, in some cases, not being who you truly are. Um, in most cases, if not all, in terms of this situation, you are basically on lockdown. You are allowing yourself to be controlled by a source outside of yourself. This is not who you really are. This is not who you're really meant to be. And I'm feeling like this situation or this energy that you're in right now, Gemini, is becoming extremely toxic. I don't know why, but I just wanted to say Virgo. I don't know if you have Virgo in your chart. Or I don't know if you've been dealing with a Virgo, or maybe the Virgo reading will resonate with you. But I will say that from what I remember of the Virgo reading, it's very different to this energy. Because Virgo is really breaking free from devil-like energy. So maybe you've been dealing with a Virgo. So maybe this is for a Virgo that's cross-watching for a Gemini. Okay. 
uh, the devil is coupled with. Oh shit, there's that nine of cups again. See, someone, someone here is very content to stay in this devilish energy. This is a comfort zone type of situation. And it's almost as if someone will do whatever they can to stay here. So if you are cross-watching for a Gemini, ain't shit you can do about that, honey. And quite frankly, I, what I'm feeling right now is that the universe, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up having the tower here towards the end of the reading or in the next section because I feel like the universe is going to handle that for them. And it's not because they're doing anything bad or anything wrong or they're a bad person or blah, 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 or they're like a devil or a demon. No, it's if, if that were to happen, it's because their higher selves deem it to be so. It's because it is actually time on a soul level. Time is an illusion. Get that. But it's actually... Now is the moment that the soul and the higher self have chosen to break out of this. Okay. I just heard you have no control over it. Whether that be for the cross watcher or for the individual that's actually in this energy. Okay. Whew. All right. <laughs> Let's get into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies. The world. There's that ending. I just heard that ending to a state of, to the ending to this state of being, which is very, very interesting because in the first half of the reading, the first set of surrounding energies, we started you off with the fool. And once you reach the world, once that's completed, you go from the world and you start the cycle over in terms of the major arcana, you start with the fool. And the world is an invitation to end one cycle and to start a new one, okay? But I just heard, again, the universe is going to facilitate this for you. <laughs> Trust and believe. Oof, okay. The world is coupled with the Four of Wands, though. And, you know, the thing that I get from the Four of Wands here is... Number one, this doesn't have to be all doomsday and, like, really bad energy and someone's a toxic person and this, that, and that. No, no. No, because ultimately everybody is on their own ascension journey. Everybody has their own path in life. But the thing that I'm feeling about this is it's really time to... I'm hearing settle into this new energy. I'm also hearing to move on. Because what I'm feeling from the Four of Wands here is whomever this is for or whatever is going on here, you have enough experience in this circumstance, in this situation, to move forward with your life purpose, I guess. I'm hearing it's time to let this go. You've learned everything you needed to learn here. You've experienced enough of what you needed to experience here in order for your soul to grow adequately. And now it's time to move on to the next cycle. So maybe it's just that someone just really feels very content here. There's a level of nostalgia here, but at the same time, you did have the devil. The devil's not good. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini. Five of Pentacles. Again, I'm hearing comfort zone energy. And so maybe there are energies of not feeling good enough, not feeling worthy, not feeling like you can really handle anything new or hand anything more. But that's all an illusion. That's a lie. Uh, this may also be an energy of someone not wanting to do for themselves and uh, constantly are constantly asking or requiring others to assist them, to help them, to... And I'm not saying it's a bad thing to ask for help or to need help, but this kind of feels like someone is kind of taking advantage of this woe is me type energy and using others to do things that they could do for themselves, to facilitate things that they could do for themselves. The Five of Pentacles is coupled with, ah yes, the Five of Cups. There's the woe is me energy, like officially.
It's time to let this go. It's time to set yourself free. It's time to pick yourself up and recognize that all is not lost here. Okay, it's time to like, you know, and I say this with all the love in the world, but it's time to like stop crying over it and start to like, you know, pick yourself up and... This is really strange, Gemini, I'm not gonna lie. Your challenge here in the second half of your reading is the Three of Cups. But now I'm getting an energy of someone has like FOMO. But no, okay, so the challenge here really yeah, someone may have, may be feeling a sense of FOMO here, fear of missing out, right? But also the challenge here is someone raising their vibration or getting themselves, like picking themselves up enough so they can, they really can align with other people. Because now this kind of feels like somebody is like, take say for example, and this is just an example, it doesn't have to be what's going on here, but this is the way it's coming through, so I'm just gonna tell it this way. Someone here is, like say you have a group of friends and you're watching them all evolve and 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 reach a certain level of enlightenment or understanding or self-awareness and you know raising their vibration and this that and third and like you're then this other person is just kind of sitting there like well why can't i do that well you can do it but if you're gonna do it you have to pick yourself up so it feels like the challenge here for for whomever this is for in the Three of Cups is aligning with people of a similar vibration. And it could be what this, the realization here that someone can't stay in this any longer is realizing or seeing that, you know, people are evolving, people are waking up, people are doing better for themselves now than they have in the past. And, and like say, you're not. But the only reason you're not is because you're not taking the steps to raise your vibration, to align with something higher. Thus, we have this energy, five of what pentacles, five of cups. Okay, the three of cups is coupled with, ah, yes, the seven of swords. And what I'm getting with the seven of swords is the narrative of, well, I'm not like you. I could never do that. I mean, I'm not capable of that. I'm not worthy of that. This, that, no, you absolutely are. You absolutely are. The Three of Cups to the Seven of Swords right now feels like somebody deluding themselves or keeping up the illusion that they'll never be able to achieve or accomplish what some other people around them have, even though they feel called to do so. And if, you're, if there's a yearning within your soul to do something, if, if you're really being pushed or drawn towards something a reality, a state of being, whatnot, whatever, then that means that you're capable of doing it and that's where you want to go. But it's this energy here, five of pentacles, five of cups, that's keeping someone from actively trying. Mm. Okay, a closing message or potential outcome for you, Gemini, is the emperor. And this to me is saying, you have the authority, you have the, authority. You have the power. You just have to own it, you have to step into it, and you have to commit to it, that's all. And sure, committing to it may seem daunting, it may seem a, a huge challenge, it may seem like, you know, a, 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 an extreme obstacle you're never going to overcome, or maybe the situation is, or maybe someone is having trouble with the consistency of it. But really, ain't nothing to, ain't nothing to it but to do it. That's what the Emperor is saying. Hold the authority, make the decision, and just follow through with it. And also, I'm getting an energy of you're going to be better off this way anyway. So you might as well just get with it, right? The Emperor is coupled with the Eight of Cups. And I just saw 33-33 on the counter. The authority is your own, is what I just heard. And if you're gonna do this, if you want to do this, then just pick yourself up and do it. Okay. Whew. All right, Gemini. All right, let's get your closing oracle guidance here. I'm gonna give this three shuffles. One. Two. Three. Four 
my Geminis. Closing Oracle guidance, please, Spirit. Here we go. I like this. I definitely like this. We have hope. Stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light. You have been through a challenging period, but now the darkness is lifting and a new day is dawning. Fill your heart with hope, for the worst is now behind you, and this turning point brings new possibilities for peace, happiness, and prosperity. If you have felt broken, you will return to wholeness. If your life has been in chaos, order will soon be restored. If you have been in scarcity, abundance will begin to flow. If you have felt lost, you will find your way. This unicorn brings the reassurance of a new beginning and the blessings that are to come. He asks you to focus purely on the outcome you want. Don't look back, only ahead to your new destination. Turn your face to the light and take one step at a time, knowing that within each stride, your life will be easier. Be patient on your journey and know the unicorns are by your side every step of the way. And honestly, I feel like this is one of the most powerful images in this deck because of the fact that this unicorn's mane has been cut and is now growing back. But the thing about it is, it will grow back. You just have to give it time. Yes? All right, Gemini, there you have it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below, as well as the link to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash divine conversations. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of May. Yes? Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>